So I was trying to create several renderings of my character from different point of views. I used two point lights and a spotlight, which should create a nice outline around my character. Whenever I want to change my camera position, the spotlight should move as well. Rearranging the direction of the camera and the spotlight was really annoying for me. So I was wondering if there is a possibility to auto-target my character. The easiest solution is probably the Track 2 constraint, which applies rotation to its owner, so that it always points a given 2 axis towards its target. And this is the preferred tracking constraint, as it has a more easily controlled constraining mechanism. The Track 2 constraint can be found in the Object Constraint property tab. Select Add Object Constraint and head to the Tracking section. And there you find Track 2. For sure we need the Track 2 constraint. Add it. The most important setting for my aim is the target location. My first impulse was to select my character mesh by pressing inside the field or on the pivot to select the object in 3D viewport. But you see that the character is not in focus because the Track 2 constraint is using the origin point of my object. I really don't want this. So especially for rendering or for my camera behavior, I create a new target object. It doesn't matter what it is, it could be an object or an empty object, whatever you like most. Now select a new object as the target object of the Track 2 constraint. That's all. Your camera will follow this object when you move it. You can do the same for the light source, in this case the spotlight. It will follow as well. But if you want to render, then the target object shouldn't be rendered at all when you use for example a cube. I just open the filter in the outliner and enable disable in render option to all my outliner objects in the scene. So I can select and navigate the target object in 3D viewport, but it will be not rendered. This was very helpful for me. Just disable the constraint by clicking the eye icon or use the influence value for any animation control as well. I will not dive into the other settings for this constraint because this is not part of this tutorial in my opinion. This tracking is similar to the billboard tracking in 3D. The term billboard has a specific meaning in real time CG programming like in video games where it is used for plain objects always facing the camera. They are indeed trackers the camera being the target and always facing to it. Their main usage is as support for grass or mist textures. These planes should permanently facing the camera. That's all so far, thank you very much for watching. It would be very nice to give this video a like and or subscribe to our YouTube channel for more game dev videos. Cheers.